Hi, I'm Chris Leinberger, the golf course superintendent at Sugar Creek Country Club in Sugarland, Texas. I've been the golf course superintendent at Sugar Creek Country Club for the past four years. Sugar Creek Country Club is a 27-hole private equity-owned facility. They originally started with a nine-hole course and developed the other 18-hole courses throughout the property. It went under a renovation in 1992 to address some of the features. They resurfaced the greens with a tiff dwarf muter grass. Uh, we currently have tiff dwarf muter grass on all 27 holes. The biggest problem that we would face was coming out of transition because we'd catch a, a case of Bermuda grass decline late in the year and we would, have, we would struggle with them throughout the winter months trying to get them to transition into the spring. Any kind of cultural practice we would attempt during that time we would see significant stress. Some of the practices in the past were simply going out and trying to treat the pathogens after we saw signs of the disease's presence. Treating as a post, we didn't have a great deal of success because the plants were already showing significant signs of stress. So at that point in time, any kind of control me measures that we would use would simply just slow down the process. Definitely believe that being reactive to any kind of pathogen during cultural practices during peak time was significantly worse than trying to be proactive in any kind of practice we could participate in. The research that we conducted prior to changing this to this technique was simply sitting down and visiting with our local distributors and local chemical reps trying to come up with any measure we could to reduce the amount of stress that we would see doing any of these cultural practices. The reps told us to experiment with trying to go out and treat the, the, the plant with the honor intrinsic seven days prior to any kind of cultural practice. That we would see s significant improvement because the plant would be protected from the roots through the crown. Last summer we decided to participate in a study to see if there's any significant difference between the honor intrinsic and another fungicide as far as turf recovery and turf benefit post aerification. So what we did is for the study is we went out and sprayed the honor intrinsic at three pounds to the acre seven days prior to the aerification. We followed that application up 21 days later with another three pound per acre rate of the honor intrinsic as well as spraying the same product on the other half of the greens. The significant difference that we saw between the two products was around 40 percent increased root mass in the honor intrinsic as opposed to the other product. We typically don't use a whole lot of fungicides throughout the year out here. But after seeing the results that we saw last year during the study, we have definitely incorporated the Honor Intrinsic into our program this year. We currently are using the Honor Intrinsic primarily on a monthly basis during the high stress periods that we're encountering in Houston. The excessive heat and excessive drought that we've experienced this year has been definitely taking its toll on all of us. Uh, the mere fact that we hadn't had any significant rainfalls we haven't had, been able to have a good flush on the green, so root development has definitely been a, an area of concern for us. The turf, especially the greens, have done a remarkable job holding up with the excessive drought and the excessive heat that we've been experiencing this year. And they're actually healthier this year than they've been in, probably in the history of these greens. We definitely feel a lot more comfortable with the greens this year and their, their health, so it, we feel like we're able to do, go out and do some extra things to them culturally to make to make sure that they're as best as they possibly can be. The membership has definitely taken a notice to the greens being being better this year. They've uh, the mere fact that the greens are so much healthier, we are able to push them a little bit further, even under these given conditions, to provide the maximum maximum playability that that they come to expect.